Hi, and welcome to this podcast. This is the first podcast in a series of podcasts covering ecosystem dynamics, which is the first unit in a grade 10 uh, science course. The first lesson will be just an introduction to the dynamics of ecosystems. So I want to direct your attention to this flowchart, and you can jot it down in your notes. Um, it's a very useful flowchart to sort of set the tone for the course because this goes over everything we're going to talk about in grade 10 science. So starting at our dynamics of ecosystems, which is our main uh, sort of focus, we're going to be looking at two different types of, um, of energy flows. We're going to look at energy flow in terms of uh, food chains, and in that we'll talk about food uh, trophic levels and we'll talk about food webs and we're also going to talk about biogeochemical cycles which include our nutrient cycles. Um, the next sort of main topic is looking at populations of organisms themselves and we'll look at how they grow, um, age population distribution and also limits that are placed on populations in ecosystems. And the whole time and throughout the course, um, I'll be coming back to the humans in ecosystems and looking at sustainability and how we sort of manage um, the ecosystems that make up our planet. Uh, the next slide that I want to uh, direct you to are the outcomes. Throughout the course, I'll be placing outcomes, things that by the end of the podcast, I want you to be able to understand. Um, again, probably a good idea to jot those down um, in your notebook and refer back to them when it comes time to studying for tests or quizzes. So let's begin. Um, this picture right here is a very famous picture. It's actually the first picture that was taken um, of our planet. And uh, the astronauts that took that picture didn't know the implications that that picture would have. From that picture, um, people began to realize that the Earth is actually very small. Um, and we can think of Earth as like a spaceship. And so that sort of picture right there of the Earth um, brought about the movement um, which the science known as ecology um, began to can't come about. So ecology is really just the science that deals with the study of interactions of organisms um, among each other and with their environments. Now ecology itself is a Greek word, comes from this word here, oikos, which means house. And if you're studying ecology, you'd be known as an ecologist. And ecologists um, look at the Earth and look at ecosystems within the Earth. Now, the Earth is huge, right? And so for a scientist to study the Earth, it would take them a lot of time, and uh, it would almost be impossible. So what scientists do instead is they, call, they study smaller areas. Ecologists will study smaller areas called ecosystems. By definition, an ecosystem is... Um, the physical environment or the abiotic factors and the living things are the biotic factors. So if we quickly look at this picture here, I can see fish, I can see an eagle, um, a fisherman, um, I see some frogs sitting on lily pads, I see plants, and, and those are all of my biotic factors or living things. Conversely, by the same definition, I can see water, um, there's gases in the atmosphere, um, something that we maybe don't really see per se, but we know that, you know, by the look of this picture, it looks more like uh, summer, so seasons. Um, we don't see one in this picture, but, I mean, obviously we know that the sun is out there. And these are all abiotic factors or non-living things. So each type of living thing in an ecosystem has a place that it lives, and that's called its habitat. Um, so if we look at our picture here of our polar bears, the polar bears live in the Arctic or the near Arctic, and so that would be their habitat. Now, the polar bear itself um, has a niche, uh, and that a niche is the combination of a job plus where the organism lives. So the polar bear habitat is the Arctic or near Arctic, um, but the polar bear is actually a carnivore, um, meaning that it, it hunts, it eats meat, and that is its niche. 
So looking at some jobs that organisms do, well, we have um, plants um, that will take energy from the sun and make their own food. And we will look at this. This is the process of photosynthesis. Um, and they're known as producers. Okay. Now, some animals can't make their own food and they need to obtain it from their environment. And so these are our consumers, okay? So consumers would be anything like this tiger to this velociraptor to um, Dr. Grant. And finally, uh, some organisms break down dead and decaying material and they actually recycle um, within the ecosystem and they're known as decomposers. So two main decomposers um, are things like fungi, right? all of our mushrooms, but also things like yeasts um, and molds and uh, bacteria. So that's an introduction to the dynamics of ecosystems. Our next lesson will be dealing more specifically with energy flows in ecosystems, and I hope that was helpful.